Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to show you how you can turn your simple MT4 indicator into a profitable robot in just a few minutes with the use of our indicator automator. Let's get started. First thing you have to do is to place the automator EA file under your MT4's experts folder and your indicator file under your MT4's indicators folder. We are going to automate a simple arrow indicator called super arrow indicator. Now go to your MT4, right click on the experts and then click on refresh. Now find our indicator and load it onto a chart. You will notice that it has blue and red arrows as buy and sell signals. We are going to use our automator to trade based on these arrows. For this purpose, we need to identify the color IDs for these blue and red arrows. If you go to the Colors tab under Indicator Settings, you will notice that Color ID 2 is for the blue arrow and Color ID 3 is for the cell arrow. Please make note of this as we will need to use these two IDs under Automator Settings. Let's do a backtest for demonstration purposes. Click on the Backtester icon to open the Backtesting module, then select our Automator. You can select the other options like the symbol, pair, model, time frame, etc. as you like. However, you need to make sure you have the history data on your MT4 for the period you are going to backtest. Go to Tools and click on the History Center and select your pair and time frame to see if the data is available. If not, you can double-click on the time frame to download the data. We will be doing a backtest for December 2020 on EURUSD on a 15-minute chart. If you want to see the indicator running during the backtest, you can simply save a template with the indicator in the same name as the EA name, so that MT4 will automatically load that template when backtesting. Now open the expert properties. Under setting number 1, enter our indicator name exactly as the file name without EX4. If your indicator is within a subfolder, you may have to add the file path. For instance, if the indicator is in the market folder, you need to add market and forward slash before the indicator name. In our case, the indicator is directly under the indicators folder. Now under the settings 6 and 7, you need to add the previously identified color IDs for buy and sell arrows. 2 was for buy, and 3 was for sell. Now settings are done. You can just click on the start button to start the test. You will see that the automator is making trades as per the indicator arrows. Here are the final results. You will notice that it has made a good profit. You can use many other types of indicators with the Automator. Also, if you are an advanced user, Automator has so many features that you can make use of to improve the performance. Please read the user manual for more details on settings. You can get a free demo and test your indicator before you buy. This ends our short tutorial and thank you for watching.